Hi guys, okay, today I'm going to show you how to install WordPress uh, in IP Brick by just using Putty. Okay, now let me launch Putty. Log into my hosting server. Uh, make sure the port is always 32 and the connection type is SSH. Click open. Login with my username and my password. Login into my root account. Okay, now so for the purpose of this tutorial, I've already uploaded the WordPress uh, package in a folder. WordPress. So I'll just change my directory to that specific folder. Okay. Well, so now you can see WordPress 2.9.2.ta is there. So to extract this file, I just run tar dash xbf okay everything is just extracted so now by default wordpress will ex extract all the files in a folder called wordpress so now we we do want that because we need the all the files inside the wordpress folder to be in our root folder or the folder where we are doing the installation so to do that we just recursively copy all the file out as F okay you can see that the command is cp dash rf what r does is it recursively copies and the F option forces all the files to be overwritten. So just hit enter. And if you list the directory structure, you can see all the files is there. Okay, the next step will be uh, renaming the the existing config dot sorry wp dash config dash sample dot php to wp dash can config dot php. So to do that, you just have to do it, type this and be wp config sample dot php and the name of the new file would be wp config dot php. Okay, so now it's done. So now what we're going to do is edit the file so that we can input all the database uh, username the the host details and everything so in order to do that we're going to use the built-in vim editor so to do that just type vi dot slash w dash config dot php okay this is the file so to start the editing process all you have to do is press the insert in your keyboard and use the arrow down to browse to so you can see here the DB name I have to do is change now my DB name is word press okay then my database username in IP brick by default it's root okay and the password here is also root okay this is just the basic setting okay the host will be the same as localhost so once you have done the editing and everything 
you need to press escape to exit the insert mode so we do press escape so to write the file and exit you just press shift wq then you type wq enter so now the new file is it's already been written with all the data and everything so now all you have to do now is just okay sorry okay we just have to launch our web browser now to start the installation so in my case it's wordpress dot domain dot com okay you can see it only asked the blog title so I'm gonna type wordpress test my email and press install WordPress and make sure you copy and save the admin password so once done you just have to go login you can log in using your credential or if you're going to the site just go back to the installation site as you can see everything is just installed Okay, thank you for watching the video. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Thank you guys.